November 7th, 2038. My birthday. <coughs> this will get out. I don't know where we're at. Hmm. Century. It's a Nicholas Cage looking motherfucker. Fuck that. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Impression. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? <laughs> Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Hmm... We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. It's a virus! Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Hmm. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine, designed hmm. to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Jesus! I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? 
Oblivion? Android Heaven? <laughs> Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. <laughs> Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. When you're drinking, you're not thinking, brah. <clears throat> 2038, number 7. 9 a.m. start liberating robots can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know oh, they'll never sure. listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you hmm. want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Okay, okay. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Okay. Let's do this. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Ms. Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. So what do I do now? an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> I need your help. Infected. I've just checked. 
accept your ID? The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. stupid thank you very much okay go this away any worse hmm. find package in men's bathroom okay there we go was a bathroom Get in there. God. There's another one. Okay. Please, please be the... the okay, cool. Gotta drain the lizard. That's something. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go. utility android well there's one right there I believe Thank you. Wish that's how it worked in real life. I just tap someone on the shoulder and be like, I need your help. Give me a million dollars. Where is the fire escape? I see it, I think. No. <clears throat> I don't know what that is.
where it is, okay. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Laser saw. Just like the just like the Bond movies. I do not like this, Sam. I am. Ladies first. Like a Batman. That's fucking cool. Why is there always a fucking roof area where that's no one f ever finishes building, right? Let's do this. I think the blonde guy's gonna die.
That's kind of interesting. It's like a thermite device or something. Fuck you, What's North. Here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must. What are you doing? I mean, didn't want to do that, but. Sleepy time, both of you. Killing them won't bring any help to your cause. In fact, they'll just see you as those guys will be martyrs and you'll become bad guys. I mean, <clears throat> so I'm assuming the broadcast room is this way. Yes. Obviously, it says broadcast right there. Time. <clears throat> Get to it. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. I will do my best, North. Marcus, your face. Oh, shit. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But, something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Hold on, monster. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. 
We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Ooh. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! I'd say that went well. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Now what do I gotta do? Go, bitch! Go! X, 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 fucking X! No man left behind! Oh, wait, that's not good. <coughs> I think I just left a bunch of shit. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump if they find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. We're not gonna fucking kill him. I won't kill one of our own. Yeah, North. Fuck I'm... you. We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. We'll leave you to kill yourself. Go, go, go! scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody Double was clear. alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all <laughs> of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Fuck no. Yeah, I think I did the right thing, though. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go talk with this Amanda chick again so she can yell at me and tell me I'm a horrible robot. This whole Matrix little fucking area. Oh, I see her. She's in a boat. I'm coming, Amanda. You bitch. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> By cruise, you mean I'm gonna fucking cruise you around here. No one. I guess I'm doing all the work. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. 
Oh, she liked that. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? Hmm. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Oh, no. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. It's time to save the Matrix. Are we doing this again? You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. station employees managed to get away. Mm -hmm. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Damn. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with pair parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Hmm. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. That. My name is Connor. I'm the <laughs> android sent by Cyberline. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. You should be off the case. Right, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. <laughs> you watch Fuck your off. stuff. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Check the broadcast. Okay, we ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They fence RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. All right, let's do this here. Blue iris, spare part. 
reflection. Hmm. Pupil reflection. Prototype RK200. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Hmm. Break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Something's wrong here. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Look for a reaction. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Three, three, what is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Hmm. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. <laughs> and I'm going to find out which it is. If you 
give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Pretty sure it's that one. The way he's looking at me. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! <clears throat> Fucking knew it. That sucks. Hank. Hank. I need help. Uh. What am I supposed to do here? Fucking dead man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck yeah. Nice shot, Gunner. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. Again. 